Ito, madalas talaga ito na question, which one no, to use? Is it the hot or the cold? So, sasabihin ko sa inyo ngayon kung ano yung purpose, hot compress and the cold compress. So, Hello guys! Welcome to another episode of Pizza Tips! So, for today's vlog, yeah, isashare ko sa inyo yung mga exercises that you can do at home to treat your muscle cramp. Ano nga ba yung muscle cramps na tinatawag? So, siba sa Tagalog, yung muscle cramps is pulikat. No? Parang biglang naninigas, no? gugatig ka, balay ang muscle mo. So, it's involuntary, which means na hindi mo yun makokontrol. So, kadalasan, nagkakaroon ka ng muscle cramps sa legs, no? yung mga larger muscles mo sa lower extremity, which is the quads, hamstrings, yung gastrox mo or your calf muscle. Ano nga ba yung mga causes no, ng leg cramps? Bakit nagkakaroon ng leg cramps sa isang tao? Una-una, maaaring tight yung muscle mo kasi wala ka masyadong activity. No? So, yung treatment lang naman dyan is stretching. Yun, marami tayong gagawin yung stretching mamaya. Second, is dehydrated ka. No? Hindi enough yung fluid sa katawan mo. And pangatlo is poor yung blood supply mo sa area kasi wala ka nang exercise. Hindi ko masyadong lalakad, masyado kang sedentary, nakaupo ka lang all the time, no? couch potato ka, nanood ka lang all the Netflix, na movie. So yan yung mga kadalas ang nagiging rason kung bakit nagkakaroon ka ng pulikat. Video pala na to is requested by Tita Anne. Yun, hello sa iyo Tita. Thank you for requesting this video. Kinonect ko lang siya sa pagkakaroon ng leg cramps. Makaka-relate sa atin. Madami nakaka-relate. Eh. Okay, so without further ado, let's start this! Our first exercise would be the calf stretch. So, isa-stretch natin yung muscle mo dito. Yung calf muscle mo. Okay, so kakailangan na natin ng rolled towel. Kailangan natin ng band to assist with the stretching. And so, kung wala kayong band, no, pwede rin naman din resourceful. Pwede yung gamitin yung belt ninyo, cinturon, mga uh, ganun, or dog leash, pwede rin. Ang gagawin natin, long sitting position. So, una, ilagay mo yung uh, paa mo dito sa roll towel. Para hindi, yung purpose nito, guys, is para hindi nakadikit yung heel. Yung heel ninyo, hindi nakadikit dito sa mat. No? Pwede rin sa floor, kahit walang mat, it's okay, fine. So, yung gagawin ninyo, ano na, is itong kabila, yung kabilang paa na dito, no, let it bend. Kaya, ano lang siya naka-flex ng ganyan. So, possibly, pwede nyo itry nyo muna yung stretch. So, kailangan yung toes ninyo naka-point towards you. So, ganyan lang. So, you can, the moment na ginawa nyo yung ganito, mapiging mo kagod yung stretch dito eh. At the back of your knee and here. At the back of your legs. Dito. Or sa taas ng ankle. Meron na din. Taas ng ankle, lahat dito. So, yung stretch lahat na mararamdaman yung stretch dito. You should maintain your knees straight. Ganyan. So, kung sobrang tight talaga yung muscle nyo dyan, yung calf muscle nyo, mararamdaman nyo kagod yung stretch. No, ito pa lang yung ginagawa nyo. Wala pa siyang assistance ng band. May stretch na yan kaagad. So, gawin nyo to um, 30 seconds hold, then 3 times. Okay? Kung hindi masyadong naramdaman yung stretch, pag ginagawa nyo to, you can get your belt, band, dog leash, or anything. And then, you can put here, and then assist with the um, stretch. And then, you can feel the stretch right here. No, dito talaga yung pinakagrabe sa likod ng kuhod and then right here. So, hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, like this. Just look at your knees. It should be straight and relax. No, as much as possible, you relax and feel the stretch. Number two exercise. So, after that stretch, we are going to relax your muscle a bit. So, yung gagawin natin is um, gatulungin natin siya na parang ganyan so wala siyang hold you can move a little like this para merong distance yung heel ninyo from the towel para makamove siya freely so ganyan point towards you and then point down point up, point down do it like 10 times 1, 2 okay, para ma-relax siya 6, 7 8, 9 and then 10 relax. Okay, relax for a while. 
So, the next stretch that we are going to do is side lying. So, ito medyo ano to ha, confusing and complicated. Kailangan yung lower leg nyo, let it bend. And yung gusto natin stretch unahin natin stretch is ito muna. Now, we are trying to stretch our right na calf muscles and as well as our hamstrings here and your abductors. Kasi, nalasa, no, kung tight yung calf muscle nyo dito, no, sumasama rin yung abductors nyo, yung dito, yung muscle nyo dito. Okay. So, yung gagawin nyo is, you raise it a little bit. Kailangan yung toes ninyo naka-point down. And yung movement is kailangan up and back. So, hindi siya ganon. Kailangan palikod and then up. Okay? Gets up and back. So, palikod siya. Okay? You can hold here to assist and here, right here also. Up and back. So, yung stretch na mararamdaman ninyo, you can feel the stretch right here sa side ng thighs ninyo. Makifeel nyo yan. You go here. Okay. Up and back. Not too much. Okay? Gawin nyo lang to. Up and back. Okay? You move your, your toes should be pointed downwards. And then you move backwards and then up. For um, beginners, medyo mahirap to. So, gawin nyo lang siya without hold. 10 repetitions. Pero mararamdaman nyo yung stretch dito. Ay mararamdaman nyo nagko-contract yung muscle dito. If you're doing it right, you can feel the stretch exactly kung saan kasi. Lunge. Lunge lang na position. So, alam nyo na yung siguro naman kung para ginagawa yung lunges. So, your other leg would be in front and the other leg would be um, sa likod. Straight yan ha. Kailangan straight yung paan ninyo. Hindi siya nakapoint sa labas or nakapoint too much inwards. Kailangan straight siya para mas efficient yung stretch na nagagawa natin. And then, hold niya sa chair para mas makafocus kayo dun sa stretch kaysa dun sa balance ninyo. And then, you try to bend your um, here, your front leg forward. So, yan. And then, you can feel the stretch right here. Sa kabila yung leg, yung extreme sa likod nyo na na calf muscle, yan yung maramdaman nyo yung stretch. So, take note sa paa, kailangan flat siya. Foot flat on the ground. Ay, kailangan it's pointing straight. Not pointing sa labas. Like, not pointing inwards. Kailangan straight siya. And you switch on the other side. Okay. So, we're trying to stretch our right leg right here. Yung nasa likod. So, take note. Kailangan straight siya. And then you bend forward. This Foot flat, kailangan lahat. Hold on the chair in front of you for stability. Kung mas malayo yung stride ninyo ng ganyan, mas grabe yung stretch. Pero pag hindi pa kaya, okay na naman medyo malapit. And, and then, like this. Okay. The stretch na gagawin natin is yung half lunge stretch. So, naka-lunge position ka pa rin, pero this time, hindi ganun ka-straight yung leg na gusto natin i-stretch, no? Because we are targeting a different muscle. So, we are targeting the soleus muscle. You can feel the stretch na sa taas ng ankle ninyo banda. So, ito yung gagawin nyo. Um, lunge position pa rin. Everything should be straight. So, ito, bend forward. And yung kanina, di ba ito, you should maintain it straight also. This time, kailangan naka-half pa siya. So, you're bending it um, slightly. No? You're, you're bending your um, back leg slightly. So, different thing yung ginawa kanina. Maranamdaman nyo yung stretch um, sa may taas ng ankle banda. Dito banda. No? More on here. Kasi yung kanina is like the whole calf muscle mo mararamdaman mo eh. This time, dito siya, sa taas ng, taas ng ankle banda. So, ito, nakabend yung forward leg ninyo. And at the same time, yung back leg ninyo, nakabend din siya ng konti. And move to the other leg. Same pa rin, kailangan foot flat. Lahat ng foot nyo, it should be um, straight. Hindi siya nakapoint outwards. Okay? Okay. Bend this and then slightly bend also your back leg. Then hold in the chair for stability. Okay. Next, nating mga exercise is more on strengthening of the calf muscle. Kasi naniwala talaga ako na um, the more na nagagamit or nagko-contract yung muscle, mas maganda yung circulation, yung blood circulation dun sa area. Uh, gaya na sinabi ko, noong una, no, na 
one of the main reasons kung bakit nagkakaroon ng pulikat yung isang tao or muscle cramps because very poor yung circulation sa area kasi hindi siya nagagamit ng maayos. So ngayon, gagamit natin yung strengthening. Kahit sa beginners, okay lang to kasi madali lang naman siyang gawin. So, yan, nakatayo. Like this. And then, kung kaya nyo, kung maganda yung balance ninyo, okay lang naman yung root here. And then, heel rise. Yan yun lang, heel rise. But, you do it slowly para mas effective, okay? Heel, then down. Okay, and then down. For example, um, kailangan nyo bumawag sa may dito, no? sa chair. Kailangan nyo assist sa chair, okay then? Yan, hook, right here. Yan, pwede rin siya. Madali sa inyo yung ganyang exercise, pwede nyo yung i-progress into like this. Pero stands. Raise like this, and then you up and down. Up and down. Ten times. One leg. Nice and slow. The next thing we're going to do is for the strengthening of the calf muscle is you squat. Go onto your balance and then you squat like this. So you can hold in the chair as well, para mas matali. Okay, and then up. Narinig nyo ba yun? Kung sa sound yung aking tukot. Yan. Heel. Okay, so paano magawin yung tamang squats? So yung tamang squats is you're not doing like, like this, leaning forward too much, no? So kailangan nyo lang i-imagine is it's like sitting on a chair. No, kailangan parang i-imagine mo na upuan sa likod ninyo ay gusto mo umupo sa likod. Okay? He'll rise pa rin and go down. Kung mara, parang may upuan sa likod mo. So, ganun lang. And then maintain your back straight. And then it is. Then down. And then up. Pagkakasan lang yung mga muscles ninyo no, after doing this. And also, para ma-stretch nyo yung quads ninyo. Next exercise would be the quads stretch it's like this. Okay, quads. You're stretching your quads right here in front. Then, other one. Using my palettes. This video and for today's P30 tips, bibigyan ko lang kayo ng mga additional tips then aside sa mga exercises na mga pwede yung gawin para mabawas-bawasan yung pain na nararamdaman nyo sa binti, no? Or, so, madalas talaga ito na question, which, uh, which one no, to use, hot or the cold? Yung dapat nyo lang tandaan is mag-apply kayo ng hot compress kung yung area is very tight. Kasi yung hot talaga, pinapalusan nyo yung muscle para mag-relax siya and hindi siya ganun kasakit, no? Kasi nag-relax na siya, hindi na siya ganun katight. Ano po yung ibig sabihin ng tight? Yung tight kasi yung parang pag um, ginawa mo yung exercise kanina, yung feeling mo parang hinihila siya, no? Para siyang lubid na parang hinihila or nasa-stretch na overstretch siya or nabibinat, no? Masyado yung muscle mo. So, yan yung feeling na tight siya, no? Kasi kulang siya sa stretching and mas maganda na before nyo gawin tong exercise, mag-apply muna kayo ng hot compress para mas mag, uh, mas efficient yung magagawa yung stretching. And then, saan naman ginagamit yung cold? Yung cold naman, nakakatulong yun for tender and swollen na mga areas. So, swollen, which means na pwede na mamaga, no? Or infl merong inflammation sa area Yes. Saan malalaman nyo yan kung, for example, hinawakan nyo yung area, for example, ito, may tender, no, hinawakan nyo parang meron siyang something sa loob, na hindi nyo alam, is either too big or certain part of the muscle nyo na parang, parang meron din minsan na malambot, kadalasan ha, kadalasan malambot siya, hindi siya matigas. And then, there's something inside. And then, pag hinawakan nyo siya, test the temperature, parang mainit siya. So, which means na swollen yung area. Merong inflammation sa loob. So, hindi pwedeng lagyan mo ng hotbox yan, lagyan mo ng cold, no? Para mag-subside yung inflammation. So, yun lang yun. And, um, makakatulong din sa yung massage. So, since abot nyo naman yung legs nyo, if wala kayong special someone to do the massage for you, or you can afford na magpumasahe, then, pwede nyo din namang i-massage like, no, yung inyong um, legs. So, kailangan yung direction to do the massage would be from foot up. No, the same with the extremities. Kailangan from the hands 
going up. No? Para sumusunod siya sa blood circulation. Thank you so much for watching our PNR vlog for today. If you have um, some questions, some suggestions for our next videos, please feel free to comment down below. And itatry ko yung best ko na mag-gumawa uh, ng exercises for that. So much guys and um, God bless everyone. Bye!